Now, YouTube this month with being at its all-time highest of having the most PDF files on their site, creators literally farting away their future, their whole career. For what? Because they cannot control their ding-dong. They cannot control their horniness. And with today's video that I covered about covering Chris Tyson's latest situation, a story of mine that happened many, many years ago, came into my mind. A story where I was in the same situation as them. The victims and the prey. The 15-year-olds who were in this situation. But the story had a different ending. I made my groomer my bitch, basically. For the past hour, I've been sitting and debating if I should share this story with you. Then I thought I've shared this story with most of my close friends. Might as well, we sit here, we yap at each other every single day. Might as well share it with you and make a few bucks as well. So if you're laying in bed, tuck in. If you're eating your food, pay attention. If you're sitting and taking a big fat juicy shit watching this video, I want you to lock in until your thighs turn red and you can't feel your legs anymore. The story took place in 2013. I'm going to share some pictures with you, but no screenshotting. I want you to get the whole context of how 15-year-old Kush used to look like. Perfect set of hair, beautiful style, dreamy face, dreamy eyes and a filtery face. My friend's going to kill me if he finds out I showed everyone this uh, picture. <laughs> Overall, young Kush was every predator's dream. Here's young Kush playing the guitar. Here's a younger Kush stealing all the ladies in the party. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Now, if you ever been to Dubai or you heard about Dubai, you know a place called Dubai Mall, the biggest mall in the UAE? When we were younger, me and my friends, we used to go outside of it. And there was a big grass area where we all used to hang out. That grass area was the hangout spot, the chilling spot for all of us, basically. And there was other groups, other people as well, where all the teenagers, we all used to hang out. Long story short, I was with my friends. We were hanging out. Then another person, he came to our group, but he was a little bit older than most of us. Most of us were 15, 16, max 17, some were 14. But this guy was 18, I believe 19 years old. This guy is the biggest donkey ever. I, I hope this guy exactly got what he deserved. I'll tell you exactly what this guy did. This guy came with us, played it cool. Oh, hey, he knew a couple of us as well, a couple of the older boys. And we all started chilling and hanging out. Most of us left. It was just two or three of us, including him. And then he started talking to me about knowing this very cool guy where we, oh, they always hang out and there's like drinks over there as well. It's like a cool, chill spot if I want to go with him. That guy was 30 something years old. The guy's house that we went that night. He was 18 and he said, bro, let's go over there. This guy is pretty chill. We're going to have alcohol. We're going to order some food. It's going to be a chill night. I was like, fuck yeah. Because 15 year old Kush was extremely simple. He did not have enough experience with people yet. Long story short, I went to this guy's house. We all sat down. We all chilled together. He seemed like a pretty chill guy. The 30 something year old. We chilled at this guy's house basically. In my head, he was just a very nice guy who was having us at his place. And we became really close, all of us. He also gave me a gift I will never forget. It was an iPhone, which wasn't an iPhone. It was a taser atop. It was just a prop, but it was actually a taser. I had so much fun with that taser. Anyways, long story short, we slept at his place. We, I slept on the couch. This the guy, the guy slept on his bed. Then the next day, uh, I got up, went home. It was nice. We exchanged numbers. Let's do this. Let's do this again, bro. Sure. We exchanged a couple of texts on WhatsApp. Then the next coming week, we were supposed to meet up at his house again and have another chill night all together. But this other guy who brought me to this place in the first place, he couldn't make it because he was busy. So it was just me and this guy alone. Now I went to his house alone and things weren't like it was last week. There was a weird energy. It wasn't like the three of us anymore. I felt a little bit of awkwardness and a lot of bit of... Uh, weird energy coming from him and he was he kept on pouring and drinking himself and wanted to give me a lot of orange juice let's say i stayed there for two to three hours but i wasn't comfortable at sleeping on his couch while he's on the other room and my you know the friend who brought me who introduced us is not here so i decided to take a cap and go back home he was not letting me go he was like bro just you're tired you 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 had a little bit too much to drink stay at my place stay at my couch please i, I want you to stay he insisted so much but i was like no nah, i have to go back home my dad and mom are expecting me i felt a little bit of weird energy but i wasn't sure about it yet after a couple of nights after that night he texted me on whatsapp again and the energy was still off he was asking me about my girlfriends have you ever done the deed or things like that more weird energy came to my head so i wanted to confirm this or not 
because I've heard of, I wasn't like blind 15 year old. I've heard of these things. I knew there was these things happening back in my high school. There have been, I've had friends when they were groomed, when they were six, seven years old. So I knew an idea, but I was too simple with people. And I was believing everyone's a nice guy. And I remember telling my group of friends that we went with this guy, this 30 year old something, man is actually a very chill dude. This is my new friend. And they told me, be careful. We don't like the way this looks. Someone who's 20 years older than you will not hang out with you. That got me curious as well. So I decided to continue with the awkward, weird energy that he was giving me and see where it goes. What is his true intentions really? Also, one thing I like to add that I forgot to mention was this was the time I went to the 18, 19 year old friend that I had and I asked him, how do you know him? Is he actually a nice guy? He's been asking me all these weird questions and I'm getting weird vibes from him. And that 18 year old told me you're totally fine he's just a cool chill guy he just wants to get to know you better you don't have to worry about anything i reversed the conversation i told him do you have a girlfriend do you have a wife what's up with you man how are things he's like well i have to tell you something i'm actually gay and for some reason he thought it would be a good idea to confess that he likes me over a text on whatsapp that is a time i was like holy fucking shit I swear to God, if I was, if I would have chosen to sleep there that night, God knows what, what would have happened. Vitaly was not there to save me. He was making fake prank videos in 2013. I was absolutely shocked and I didn't know what to say. I left them on red for a good 20, 30 minutes. Now to this day, I don't know how, how what came to my mind that I came up with this whole idea. I decided to squeeze money out of him. This was a story that I made to take $500 from this man when I was 15 years old. I told him, I want to see you, but I'm grounded. I borrowed $500 from my ex-girlfriend. And after we broke up, she was demanding the money, but I didn't have the money to give it to her. So her parents called the police on my parents and everyone got involved. And my dad paid the money and he grounded me until I pay him that $500 back. And I... <laughs> This is gonna come so fucking cringe and so disgusting. But this is what I said. I exactly remember this moment. I was like, I wanna see you so bad. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I was like, I wanna see you so bad, but I need to give this $500 to my dad so he will let me go out of the house. I feel like I'm in jail right now. He was like, Today, I am dropping that money. I, I will drop everything, my work, everything right now and come and give you that $500. Now, I got to tell you, when he came under my house, it was the most disgusting moment in my life. I have never experienced something like this. He came towards me. He gave me 2,000 dirhams. It's around $500, $550 to when he converted to US. He gave me that money. And he was like, are you okay? I was like, yes, I need to go get and sort things with my parents. You know, I'll see you at night. I'll take a cab to you. You don't need to stay here. It, it will take too long. He was like, okay. This was the most disgusting thing he did to me. He was like, okay. I looked at him. I didn't know how to respond. I was like, okay, I'll see you tonight. I went back home, took that five, six hundred dollars. I was so proud of myself. I was like, you want to make me a bitch? I will make you a bitch, you bitch. And it turned out the guy who was 18, 19 years old, he was a pimp. It was his job. He was getting paid to bring young boys to this man. I absolutely wish the worst to this man, even though if he learned from it, grew from it. Fuck that guy. I hope everything, he gets what he, what he deserves, basically. Because not everyone, God knows the amount of boys he brought that were, weren't as smart as a 15-year-old Kush. And obviously, that man didn't care about that five $600. Honestly, I should have asked for more because he was super, super wealthy as well. But uh, there's nothing he could have done about it as well. He, what, he will go and say, oh, this guy who I've been trying to groom, do shakalaka, boom, boom, was, uh, st stole money from me. There was nothing he could have done. I took the money. I shared the story with very few close friends, not many people. And I don't know why I shared it with you. I thought it was a, I don't know, with, with this whole PDF file situation is happening, I thought I'll share my life experience about this whole thing. But yeah, that was it. I'll catch you in the next one.